Brooke Filosa. I'm back with another episode of the Signature Spotlight. I'm here today with Tammy Ramos Crispino, who is the owner of Fire Me Up here in Cranford. Fire Me Up is an all-inclusive art studio that opened in 2013, yes. and they offer a range of different art projects. So, Tammy, why don't you just tell us a little bit about how you got started in opening an art studio? Yeah, sure. I mean, my background is not art, so that's, it always surprises people. Right. Um, most of the time, um, you know, people think, you know, I'm, I'm an you know, I was an artist all along. I came from a business background. I oh, went wow. to school for engineering, and then I graduated with a business major, uh, worked out on Wall Street for about 13 years. And when my kids were born, I was looking for some sort of a shift. And uh, naturally, this was a hobby, pottery world was a hobby of mine. And um, there was really nothing near us, and I thought it would be a great idea to start something. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So what kind of different mediums and sort of, you know, projects do you have here? Sure. Um, I mean, we have a wider range of pottery painting. Um, that's, you know, what most people walk in to do. And then they're always surprised to find that we do um, canvas painting, uh, clay hand building, pottery reel, which um, it's, you know, I guess it's, it's, now it's like the trendy thing right. to do. <laughs> uh, and we also do uh, glass fusing. Oh, wow. It's a lot of options. Yeah, definitely a lot of options. We want to make sure that people are comfortable coming, you know, returning and doing different yeah. things and exploring different things. Now, do you recommend that people, or is it more popular for people to drop in and come in, or is it better to schedule an appointment? There's no need to schedule an appointment. You okay. can just walk in. Uh, we have, uh, we can comfortably sit uh, 60 people in the main studio on a busy Saturday. Sometimes if it's a large group, we ask that people make a reservation or um, just so that they don't have to wait. Right. And so how long does a pro I mean, obviously now that I know you have such a range of projects, I'm sure it takes a different amount of time, but is there an average amount of time it takes and cost per project that you have? Uh, we say give yourself at least two hours okay. um, just to make sure that you're not rushed in the creative process. Yes. <laughs> um, but um, you could definitely, you know, come in and paint a small item for an hour if that's all you have. Okay. Um, the cost ranges, we, we have projects starting at $16, the, you know, and then they go up from there. Um, and we have projects, larger projects that are um, upwards of $125, okay. $150. So, so it's definitely a range. Um, and that's for, we do walk-ins for canvas painting, um, canvas painting, pottery painting, and glass fusing. Okay. Pottery wheel, you need to make an appointment. You need an appointment. Okay, mm -hmm. that Or take sense. a class. Okay. And then, you, so you also have just certain like classes and special events that you schedule, right? Yeah. So we, we do um, what we call a try it class. It's um, one of our most popular classes. It's uh, try it on the wheel. Uh, it's a small class, so it was definitely very popular during COVID because there were not, not many people. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we only have eight people in a class. Um, and basically you can try the wheel for an hour and a half and most people are successful and come up with like a little trinket, which is always Cute. really nice. Um, so that's probably our most popular. We offer that Friday, Saturdays and Sundays. And then in addition to that, we have um, more, you know, beginner classes on the wheel, which is like a six week class. And we also have intermediate to advanced classes. Oh, wow. So what are your most popular projects in general? Is it the pottery painting? It's funny, it's, it's, a, it's, now a, it's, it's a mix. Um, our classes are super popular. So pottery, we, uh, you know, I would say like the mud, what we call the mud room, which mm -hmm. is our upstairs, it's probably 50% of our business. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, between classes, private yeah. uh, parties, and um, and just coming in. So you party. do private parties as well? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So we have, um, we do private parties for all ages. Um, our most popular for children is pottery painting and canvas painting. And we, do, right. you know, we have a private room on the first floor. Um, our most popular for adults is pottery room. That makes sense. And I know during COVID, our classes yeah. became the main source of income. And, and, I, and I think it's made primarily because they were smaller. Yeah, that makes and sense. And we got to see the same people, so yes. people got very comfortable. And so we did a switch, and now our downstairs room is our party oh, room. Okay. So we kind of swapped the two. That's interesting. And so what other things has COVID done to impact your business? Are you guys still doing those to-go? Boxes we still do to go. Um, yeah, so we still we're, st we're still doing to go parties. I think that um, right now the only thing that we're still doing that um, it, you know we implemented in COVID or that we're doing a lot of is um, birthday parties to go because people yes. are still doing like backyard parties. Yes. Um, so oh, that's, that's cool. uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, um, and we're also doing a lot of to go what we call field trips. So before the schools would come to us, okay. now the schools want us to send the, the things oh, to them. that's great. So we're doing, uh, and we're still doing, there are several schools in the area where we've always done their art enrichment program. We're still doing that with them. The only difference is we're still doing it virtual. Oh, okay. 
What made you choose Cranford as the location to open your business? And tell me a little bit about what it's like to be a business owner so, in Cranford. Uh, Cranford's so bad. I mean, I'm see the best system <laughs> where you want to open a business. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because I'm part of the DMC board. I, I'm saying that because I've been here nine years and it's treating me really well. Their community is really like no other. I, I mean, Cranford supports Cranford and they really want their businesses to thrive. Mm -hmm. And we've noticed that and we see it, we feel it. Um, but honestly, it was a lucky thing for me. I live in Westfield and we were looking for Merlin in Westfield to open the business. And I stumbled upon this space and I fell in love with it. It was big, yeah. it was, you know, it's wide, it was exactly what they wanted. Yeah. Um, so it was really, I can't say that I picked it, <laughs> but it was definitely meant to be. That's great. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you want the viewers or the neighbors to know about your business? No, I mean, just, you know, we're family friendly. We, we do, you know, we definitely welcome everyone uh, through the doors. We just love to see people get creative and, you know, definitely have been, we've been supported um, heavily with, um, you know, through COVID, right. through everything that's happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a great town to be in. That's great. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me, Tammy. It was so great being in your wonderful space. Um, and neighbors, please stop by Fire Me Up. Um, come by, just drop in and do a project or schedule a class online. They have tons of great events that you should stop by and see. Awesome, thank, thank you. you.